All right, what we're here to talk about a little bit is warm up and rehab and kind of flaws with the thinking in my opinion that the way this works and maybe I'm the only person that thinks like this but this spring ankle can can address most of the warm up and rehab problems that I feel we ex that exist today in sports. So, you know, I'll talk to these great strength coaches and uh, you know they do a lot of great stuff but they'll say oh yeah I'll spend like five to twenty minutes warming up my athletes feet before we do a workout and and they'll say okay the workout goes better they get in better position I agree with them but here's my thing I think that's completely wrong like something's wrong with your foot there's some insufficiencies if you actually have to to warm up for five to twenty minutes warm the feet up not just the body but the feet my thing is is if the foot's strong enough you should never have to warm it up. Maybe get out of bed, walk to the coffee pot, drink your coffee, and then take off sprinting is what you should be able to do, in my opinion. Um, I just think that athletes that have to do that, it's a sure indicator of a foot problem. So that's why in the, in the spring ankle manual we have that test that's a greater loaded test than, than a normal like navicular arch drop test. It's more for athletes, the spring ankle test. That, that shows that, hey, you don't have to, to warm up five to 20 minutes. Now, um, the big thing is, again, is that most exercises don't apply enough stress. The spring ankle is very stressful in five positions that Chris came up with and is highly effective. Now, let's get to rehab. So with rehab, I truly believe um, a lot of PTs I've dealt with over the years will, will maybe rehab the foot, especially after a high ankle sprain or an ankle sprain, and I think that's great. Like um, the one, the classic one that they do for me on the foot, I think is a really good exercise. Is they'll have the foot and they'll, they'll grab toes and they'll curl it in, and that's that's a great exercise when there's dysfunction and there's weakness coming out of an injury. But that exercise, grabbing a towel or doing any little band work will never get you ready for an impact coming down to hit the ground at five times body weight. That towel exercise will not work. That's why Chris created all those positions in the spring ankle so that you could get the body ready post rehab if you're injured or just normally ready so that you could absorb a thousand to two thousand pounds on your foot 